Fan of the Week. How'd you feel? Take that. Give the Fan of the Week. How'd you feel? Xfinity Fan of the Week. It feels amazing to be Fan of the Week. LC doesn't even have, even have a home field, but we still got our spirit section on top. Let's go! All right, time now for High School Playbooks Xfinity Fan of the Week from the opposing side, River City. There she is right there. That's right. Yeah. Okay. This is our Fan of the Week. What is your name and, and what is it like being the Fan of the Week? My name's Pam Guyvet, and I'm excited. I'm very excited. My grandson's a kicker. Okay, good job. Woo! All right, Pam. Welcome back to the second half of the High School Playbook Show. I'm Dale Rogers. We begin with our Northern California Honda Dealers High School Playbook Game of the Week as your votes kept me in Sacramento. And it was homecoming night for the 3-2 Laguna Creek Cardinals as they hosted league opponent, the River City Raiders, who were 3-1 at kickoff. Check out this setup play by Malik Zerko. He breaks three tackles before taking the ball into scoring position for Laguna Creek, where Tyreek Booth, TB would stick it in for six points for Laguna Creek, and their fans in the stands were out of control. Back to the action on the field, and Laguna Creek would find the end zone again. Same guy, Tyreek Booth, TB, for another LC Cardinals touchdown. Time now for a halftime update to help me out is Ali Dariano, who's with the band here at Laguna Creek. Ali, what do we got? It's halftime and Laguna Creek is leading 24 to nothing. We're gonna keep leading to the end of the game. In the second half, River City got on the scoreboard. Off the tip, Laguna Creek pass. Justin Spencer comes down with the interception. And then Justin Spencer takes the rock and just scoots it back into the land of quick six, getting the Raiders on the scoreboard. But tonight belonged to the Laguna Creek Cardinals. Wayne Cavanaugh takes the handoff and Mr. Cavanaugh makes three. Would be tacklers miss, count them. As he brings the bacon home for Laguna Creek, the Cardinals win their homecoming game. Final score, 38 to six. I think our defense stepped up big. Uh, the six points is definitely on the scoreboard, but it wasn't against the defense. They had a pick six, fell right into the kids' hands, but our defense played lights out all night. We came off a lot of adversity last week. We lost in double overtime. So last week, uh, this week we just try to learn from our mistakes, try to limit the mistakes today. And we started off slow, then we picked it up. I had to put some scores on the board, so we just had to keep on going what we were doing. All right, in El Grove, uh, the Consumers Oath Wolfpack rolling out the red carpet, sorta, to host the Blue Devils from Davis tonight. Consumers Oath's quarterback, Mario, Mariano, Pagata, scrambles out of the pocket, then fires 20-yard touchdown pass to the running back, Brandon Lambert. That's 7-0 Consumers Oaks in the top. What kind of dance is that? And the Wolfpack would keep rolling after that. Check out Brandon Lambert, gets around the corner. Turns on the Jets, flies 22 yards into the end zone for CO. And the Consumers Oak Wolf Pack would go on to down the Davis Blue Devils tonight by final score of 54 to 39. In Sacramento, the Franklin Wildcats from Elk Grove looking to upset and win at the Sheldon Huskies. It was packed. Franklin quarterback Abraham Truitt throws a 15 yard pass to Jaden Legary to complete a first down. That would set up the Wildcats with their first TD. Tying the game at six. But the Huskies would start to gain some momentum. Darius Hatcher makes a six-yard run right up the gut for the Sheldon touchdown. And the lead, Huskies hang on to beat Franklin. It was a close one. Final score tonight, 16-13. That was real tight. Now it's time to stop the highlights, bring in the band. As we do every week, it's time to listen to our high school playbook and watch the band of the week. This week is the 86th member Marching Sheldon Huskies. Their band directors are Vanessa Ibera and Justin Bunselmeyer. Hit it! Crew is telling me that's Britney Spears toxic. 
I hope that's right. Now back to more highlights. Our playbook cameras are also in Ripon tonight as the three and one Ripon Christian Knights, who won the Division Seven Sac Joaquin section title last season, hosted the Oristimba Warriors. Ripon Christian Knights were looking to spoil Oristimba's road trip. A lot of blue there tonight for the RC Knights. Grant Snow takes the rock, rolls two yards into the zone for a ripping nice TD. He's in the pile down there. But the Warriors from Oristimba came to play. Jacob Venezuela finds Trevor Van Elderin for a Warrior 25 yard. Boom, first down. A few plays later, Oristimba would get into the zone. Jacob Venezuela, 37 yard pass to Drew Felber, keeping the Warriors in the game. But Ripping Christian has too many horses in the barn that can just get the job done. Mason Tamaling with a 16 yard TD toss to Jace Bottleman and last year's Division 7 section champ Ripping Christian. They win tonight. Final score 42 to 12. Well, the poll, uh, that's it for week six for Michelle Dapper and the rest of our High School Playbook crew. I'm Dale Rogers. We'll see you back here next Friday night for week seven of the High School Playbook Show.